G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, today I'm doing some more work on uh, a flame liquor engine. And I'm using those little boring bars I got from Banggood just recently. They certainly got a lot of interest. People are, yeah, very interested in what, what these are like. And uh, <laughs> I gave it a good review, a very good review. So today I'm using the 5mm one again. Um, I'm pressing on with the job I've got. These are the plans I'm working on that, uh, yeah, all will be explained later on. But uh, for now, you can come for the ride if you want to see some more boring bar action. But if, it's, if that's too boring, bar none, then don't watch it. Okay, so we'll skip to the chase and I'll just get on with the job. So here's the finished job. This is the shaft 
that we bore the center out of. This is an adjuster that we can rotate. It has uh, a mating hole for this cam, which is the cam that you use for the uh, the valve on the on the flame liquor. Once again, we're modifying you know an existing design, changing it completely. But the actual job accuracy, as you can see, is pretty okay, and the fit is perfect. So that's lock tied it onto the shaft, and yeah, we're basically reusing the crappy uh, design flame liquor that um, the bastard engine, as I call it, that I couldn't get, just couldn't get any sense out of it. I tried everything, bigger bore, the whole lot. So yeah, you can see that the little boring bar did a fantastic job, and. Uh, they're great, really are awesome things. I've actually got quite a lot more to do on this little motor, but I have done a fair bit. I'll pan back and show you what I have done, just out of curiosity. So you can see what I've got here. This is the the barrel off of the old original motor that goes with this. And I've completely reworked this. It's now going to have an end port. For the flame liquor rather than a side port. It's also going to have a, um, a valve coming in through this slot. So it's not just going to be a flap of valve, it's going to be a slider valve as well. I'm going to use a, a, a thin feeler gauge for that. So there will be an arm come, this will be the bottom, be an arm come here and it'll rock up and down and the valve will go up and down. I'm using an, an existing set of plans I've had for ages, one I tried to build years ago and didn't <laughs> succeed. Uh, once again I tend to wander off of the path when it comes to plans and do my own thing. But I, overall it's machining up quite nicely, all done on the lathe. I don't have a mill, so all the milling and everything was done, and the indexing, everything's done on the lathe the whole shebang. So yeah, and it's just a matter of I'll have to make up new pistons out of stainless steel because I've bored this out to an absolute maximum. I've got some stainless steel here that will do the job quite nicely. The shaft we machined, the centre out that was also stainless steel. So yeah, you know, you can have the time of your life playing around with this stuff and uh, the sky's the limit really. It's just a matter of how... Uh, finicky you want to do work, you know, I mean this is pretty precise stuff, so and once again all the little allen headed bolts are all these kits you can buy from Banggood you get all these nuts and bolts and stuff and they're, they're cheap as chips well worth buying for this sort of work because they do a they are nicely made and they do a nice neat finish, you know, so yeah alright, right, well that's it, so uh, yeah just a matter now, push on with it. Okay, that's it for now, just a bit of an update. See you next time, cheers.